Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. We're going to talk about Bitcoin news today. And we're going to look at Bitcoin seven times your money by hodling. Now think about that for a second. How often do you get an opportunity to gain wealth by doing nothing? I mean, hodling doesn't mean you did anything. You just simply bought Bitcoin, held on to it, and then sold it. But that leaves us with a bunch of questions. How long? How much? When? Where? How? Blah, blah, blah. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to give you all the details. By the time I'm done with this video, you should understand how to make seven times your money or at least understand how it was done in the recent past. Let's take a look at this. So should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash that like button. Hey, it makes a huge difference. Really, really helps us out. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. My background is in computers. And this is my opinion. So, hey, look, I'm just some YouTuber. You shouldn't trust me. You should do your own research. I'm going to give you information so that you can start digging into things. Find out for yourself. But cryptocurrency involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for every investor. This paragraph talks about the risks of investing. It applies to any kind of investment. If your Uncle Joe comes and says, hey, let's start a business, or if you're going to invest in stocks or rental properties or anything else, you should take seriously what you're doing and read this paragraph. Try and follow it because it could help save your bacon. Um, anyway, I just wanted to remind you that cryptocurrency does involve risk of loss, and so you want to be careful. Be sure that you're protecting your family. All right, so what happens when you invest $1,000 in Bitcoin and three years later? So if you bought $1,000 worth of Bitcoin on January 1, 2017, and then sold it December 31st, 2019, guess what? You did a 7x on your money. Now, when you think about it, January 1, 2017 was before the last bull run, so the price was pretty low. And December 31st was after those terrible years where Bitcoin was in that bullish market. The point here is that even during some of the worst times, Bitcoin, you could have made seven times your money. In fact, if you do a little bit of research and you start looking through the daily prices of Bitcoin, you're going to find that there was never a time in the history of Bitcoin where you could buy Bitcoin, hold it for three years, and actually lose money. Now, does the past necessarily dictate future performance? No. But is it likely to repeat? I think there's a possibility it will, especially with what we're on the verge of doing. If you look on it, at any of my videos on the great wealth transfer, it'll make sense to you that some of these gains and maybe bigger gains are in the future um, uh, with cryptocurrency. And in the wealth transfer, I try and explain why I have that opinion. And so in this video, we're just looking throughout history. Now, there were times when you could have made in a three-year period, made 43 times your money or this one down here where it's just astronomical. Um, the only time that you would have done, I mean, the, the, the poorest representation was from January 1, 2014 to December 31st, 2016. And during that year, your $1,000 would have become $1,180. Now, you might say, well, that's kind of crappy. But when you think about it for a second, that's still an 18% gain on your money. You made 18%. I don't know of a lot of things that you could do with $1,000 that would make it 18%. I mean, you might be able to, uh, if even if you were buying stocks and you bought some of the best stocks and your stocks did at least as good as the S&P 500, 18% is not far from the amount of money you would have made from stocks. I mean, you do, definitely 
could never put it into a bank today. I mean, from 2014 to 2016, what bank would have given you 18% on your money? You're, you're talking about half a percent to 2%, somewhere in that ballpark for savings accounts and CDs. And so this is, even at its worst set of three years, this is still significant money. So that's my video for you today. How can I be of service to you? Now, I guess one more thing. To do this is really pretty simple. All you have to do is go to any of the websites that sells Bitcoin, such as Binance, Gemini, Coinbase, set up an account, buy Bitcoin. Now, as always, keep your money safe, pull it off of the exchange, because if it's not your private keys, it's not your token. If it's not your private keys, it's not your Bitcoin. And so take possession, self-custody your own Bitcoin. I always recommend that you get a, a hardware wallet, such as a Ledger or a Trezor. Um, and if you want more information on anything I just said as far as where to buy Bitcoin or getting a Ledger or a Trezor, I'd be happy to give you links. I'm not going to ask you to send you your money to me. I'm going to have you go to some other company and you can buy your Bitcoin from them. I don't trade in Bitcoin. And so how can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions, thoughts, comments? Is there something you didn't like about what I said? I'd love to hear your polite disagreements in the comments below. In the meantime, do me a favor, like, subscribe, and hodl, and I hope that you have a fantastic day.